alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. And welcome back to another video. Today, Hamza has taken us around Istanbul, and the first stop is. Is the we're gonna start with the Istiklal Istiklal streets, but before that, we're gonna head to to Taksim. We are basically in Taksim. Yeah. And we're gonna go to the the famous street here, which is called the Istiklal Street. Okay. And I think we're going to be visiting two mosques today, is it? Yeah, two mosques, yeah. We're going to be visiting two mosques today, inshallah. And then we are planning to break our fast at around half seven tonight, which is in around three and a half hours. So I'm just going to have a little walk around today. I'm just going to show me these different places and then we'll be going to Iftar, inshallah. Ignore my hijab. <laughs> The wind is blowing it everywhere. I really did not expect Turkey to be this cold and windy. It feels like I could be in Scotland right now. I've warned you before. Yeah, Hamza warned me, but I didn't listen. So today, look at that. <laughs> What's it called, Hamza? This one is Taksim Mosque. Taksim Mosque, mashallah. At night time, that says Alhamdulillah. Is that the one? Yeah. At night time, it says Alhamdulillah at the top and it's just so stunning i just love the mosques here in turkey they're all so so beautiful really really nice designs and inshallah i'm looking forward to going inside where is it that we're having iftar it's it's set hand close by a uh, minona mosque okay it's quite far away from me like 40 minutes is it by walking yeah, yeah by walking yeah okay so inshallah we'll be walking there later on and they do like a nice iftar for everybody so i'm looking forward to that you guys know i've been having my iftar alone the last week or so so it'll be nice to be with other brothers and sisters inshallah Hamza's was a good photographer <laughs> well, now we're in taksim square this is the main area in istanbul See here, the mosque is just over there. You can see a statue over there and also big massive Turkish flags around the place, another one there. This looks like it could be something to do with Palestine. So we're gonna go and have a little look and check it out. Guys, this is really really powerful it's lots of drawings and things from the children and you could see as well lots of rubble and kids toys and stuff on the ground it's just you just can't imagine what our brothers and sisters are going through That was actually a six-year-old girl's drawings where you see all the animation. She was six years old. She's lost 26 members of her family. And then these are the drawings that she has drawn. You just can't even get your head around it. A six-year-old girl losing 26 members of her family is 
absolutely outrageous. It's and very sad. Very yeah, sad. you just can't even comprehend what that must be like for a little yeah. girl, for anybody. And also when you're walking in, you see lots of rubble everywhere and kids' toys and things amongst the rubble. And I just still I can't imagine what it must be like for them. We can see a little bit of it in there and it looks terrifying. But imagine that being your whole land. My, just, my thoughts and prayers are with them all the time and inshallah we can see a free Palestine one day inshallah. inshallah yeah. We're now in the famous street of Istanbul and it's called Istiklal and this is one of their little trains that are really famous here. I really hope to go on that later on. Will you take me on yeah. it? Yeah, we might. Yeah, we might. Yeah. Have you ever been on it? No. You lived in Istanbul, but you never went on the tram. No, never. That's terrible. <laughs> look at these. Honestly, I can't wait till Iftar. They look so good. Acid is just called. I don't know whether you can hear it. I just love being in countries where you hear the Adan. I just love it, it's so peaceful. I don't know what I was expecting, but I just did not think Istanbul would be this busy. It's just so full of people. So many amazing restaurants and little stalls to get food. It just smells so, so good. And it's quite hard when you are fasting. I think we have two and a half hours left. And honestly, I feel like I could just eat so many different things. <laughs> look at these sweeties. They just look so good. <laughs> Can you tell I'm hungry? <laughs> Fasting. Fasting. What? Ramadan. Fasting. I understand. Ramadan. I don't know, I understand. Ramadan. Stay. Fasted. Fasted. No, no drink. Uh -huh. There's Ramadan. Uh, Ramadan. Ramadan. Yeah. Yeah. Same, same, same. yeah. Maybe later. <laughs> oh, inshallah. <laughs> the streets are full of cobbles everywhere, and it is so steep. Honestly. If you're coming to Istanbul, expect to do a lot of steps and a lot of steps at an incline as well. It is difficult. That is the Galata Tower and unfortunately it's closed at the moment due to construction work, which is a real shame because I was really looking forward to going up there. But maybe if I come back to Istanbul at another time, inshallah, that's an excuse to come back. There is the Salt Bay restaurant. I'm sure you all know who he is. He's very, very famous. Hamza just checked out the price and it works out at $50 for one gram of a burger. <laughs> that is insane money, absolutely insane money. We definitely will not be going there anytime soon. <laughs> you don't have this price even in the UK. Yeah, I know, that's crazy prices, crazy. But if you've got the money, I guess, it's up to you what you want yeah, to do with it. Yeah, trick yourself. <laughs> Everywhere here in Istanbul is so steep and I'm walking so slow. It's just so hilly. But it's so, so gorgeous, full of lots of culture. Really, really nice. I can see why you lived here, Hamza. Yeah, to keep myself fit. <laughs> <laughs> in Istanbul. And look at the mosque over there. Hands of what mosque is that? Uh, Imanono. Imanono. No, no, that one is Imanono Mosque. Imanono Mosque. That one I don't know, I don't know what's the name of that. Okay. 
and then mosque over there, mosque over there. So many beautiful mosques in Istanbul. I really, really love it. Mashallah. You guys, I feel so bad every time I see a cat and there's a cat in his backpack. That's so cool. <laughs> This tent over here is where we're going to iftar tonight, inshallah. I just love the wee cats everywhere. I'm really starting to get tired now. We've been walking so, so long and when you're fasting and find it really quite difficult. This is only my second Ramadan. Hamza's done Ramadans ever since he's been a little boy. So for him, this is normal. But <laughs> For me, I'm getting really, really worn out. We are heading to the Blue Mosque. It's called Hagia Sophia. No, no, it's called uh, Sultan Ahmed. Oh, Sultan Ahmed. That's where we're heading to just now. We've been walking honestly for so long. We still have about 20 minutes more to go. So that's what we're doing just now. And then we hopefully, by the time we get back from praying Asr, it should be time for Maghrib and time to break our fast, inshallah. I've just came for a little sit down on the bench because my legs are just so tired. I need to just have a little bit of a rest. But we are literally right next to the mosque and sitting in front of a lovely water fountain. So it is it's so beautiful. You can see the mosque just over there in the background and then this lovely fountain right there. We've just come out of the mosque now and it was so nice to go in there. Really, really stunning on the inside, really stunning. Full of tourists as well. So if you're non-Muslim and you wanted to have a little look, you're more than welcome to. There was a nice quiet area around the back for the women to go and pray. So I managed to catch up with Asr, which was really good. And now we've just got about one hour left until we can break the fast, inshallah. Honestly, today I am really quite struggling. I feel like my mum the other day when she went walking and she felt tired. So I am really looking forward to, inshallah, having some nice food and breaking my fast. Hamza is just flying his drone just now. And honestly, the view is incredible. Mashallah, it's somewhere way over there now. So this is the extra that they give you, a little dessert. What's that? Pasta, maybe looks like some meat, bottle of water, bread and a date. That is so lovely and the mosque... Oh, thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. <laughs> you too. And the mosque is just there. Bismillah Hamza. Bismillah. Family come. 
Can I go for the mixed juice, please? Bismillah. Oh, that's so good, Hamza. What is it? Try. Let me try. Mm, that has carrot inside there. Does it? I didn't yeah. even taste that. We went back to the room for a couple of hours and now it's really late. It's about half past one in the morning. So we just came out, we got a little chicken donor wrap and a burger and now we're headed back to the hotel for the night. I'm honestly feeling so exhausted now. I've had such an amazing day for my first day in Istanbul. I've really, really enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to the next few days to come, inshallah. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video, inshallah.